What's going on guys, Seha Man back with another figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the other NECA 7 inch scaled figure. This is the Batman classic TV series, um, Adam West Batman from the 66 uh, TV show. Now I don't have the 18 inch one anymore to do a comparison, I actually sold that one off because I had the Hot Toys one and you know I have various other versions of Batman but for some reason I didn't like that one too much, it's just me but we got it in 7 inch form so I'll get him in this scale, you know, no big deal. The box is pretty much the same as the 18-inch um, version. So you have Batman right here, the artwork. Got that orange box with Gotham City in the background. Um, you got, you know, the barcode and all that right here in the back. You got a really cool image of um, Robin and Batman right here. And then I wonder if they're going to give us a 7-inch Robin. You got another one right here on the side. And then right here on the back, you know, this is really cool right here. You got the Batmobile. And you also have the um, you know images of Batman right here. So this I really like how the back of this looks. I think that looks great. And on the top of the box, it does read or it doesn't read anything. It just pretty much just NECA and the warnings. But um, you got an image of the Batman right there. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and take this figure out of the box and see how cool he is. Stay tuned, guys. Right, guys, now this is cool. I really love how this Batman figure came out, and the the cloth cape is such a nice touch. The outfit looks great on this guy. He just, honestly, this guy came out better than expected. I actually like him more than I did the 18 inch version. But here's a quick little 360 look at the Batman. You can see his cape going against the wind right here. That's just because of my ceiling fan. Such a great figure. Let's take a closer look at him. So we'll start off as we always do with the accessories. I'll show you what this guy does come with. He comes with an inter a pair of interchangeable hands. So you can see right here you got one. So, you know, if he wants to hold on to one of the accessories like the Batarang or the Bat, you know, the, the Calm Link or whatever it is that he comes with. So you got that right there, the purple gloves, nice little detailing on them. And then you got kind of like a, another kind of like open kind of hand right here. So the gloves look great. They have the um, sculpted wrinkles on them and everything. Very, very nice. You got that. You have the Batarang right here, which is cool. It's kind of like a metallic color. Got that right there. I don't think it's in folds, though. No, um, I believe the other one and the 18-inch one did fold, but this one doesn't. So don't try to fold it, guys. Now, he does fit in his hand pretty good, I think. Yeah, look at that. That fits actually really nice. Very, very cool. And then you have his little, like, uh, the comm link, I think, right here, or his communicator. So you got that right there. Nice detailing on it. Very cool. So those are the accessories. Look at Batman right here. This is such a cool figure. I love the way this guy came out. And uh, he does pretty much look like Adam West right here. So you have the mask. The mask comes, came out great. And if you look at, like, the bottom view of it, you can see his nose and everything and the nostrils. Looks very, very nice. And the eyes, you know, the eyebrows painted on. The nose got a little bit of, little bit of paint. Whoa, almost dropped the camera over, guys. And you come a little closer and you can make out, um, make out his eyes and everything. Look at that. Look at the great detail. The um the the details on like the cheeks, the, the lips and all that cool stuff just looks great. We got the neck area right here on the side. You can see the colors more better. He's got that like kind of like glittery metallic color. Look at the black ears, the black um, you know, the black of the, the front of the mask. Very, very cool. Come over here, you can see another side view right there. The nose piece sticks out a lot, and right there at the back, you got the stitching and everything from the mask and um the front of the suit, which looks great. Careful, because it looks like if you were to really mess with the cape, you might break this off. But um, the suit almost looks a little dirty, like almost like a little weathered. I don't know if that's just some paint problems that my figure uh, came with or what. But um, he's got a little bit of that paint problem right there. So you can see that right there. And then you have the, um, the bat logo right here. You got the utility belt, which I think looks great. All the little compartments. Very cool. You come to the back of the figure. You can see all that too. Very, very nice. You got the purple trunks, all the wrinkles there, and then you have his gloves and the gauntlets right there. Very, very nice. It's got the closed fists. I think both hands, yeah, both hands are closed, closed fists on this guy, but you can see the stitching and everything on there looks great. And then you have the um, the legs, which is supposed to be just gray tights, and then the shoes right here are the boots. Very cool, and the bottom of them are black, and he does have uh, he does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet. There's a back shot right here of the boots. Oh, also, like right here, he's got a little bit of a blue lining on the inside part of the shoe. So very, very nice, guys. This this figure seriously is just legit, man. I love how this one came out. The cape also is um, like a, it's a kind of cloth material, and you can see the bottom right here. You can see how low it kind of goes, and it's kind of open right here. These little like. Sharp edges right there at the bottom. 
So very, very cool. Uh, now in the way of articulation for Batman, the head can rotate, can also, uh, it's kind of weird how this joint is. Okay, can rotate the head, also goes up and down right there. With the cape out of the way, rotation at the, at the waist, slight ab crunch, arms do go in and out, skinny, skinny little arms, forward and back, bend at the elbow, careful, kind of feels like it's gonna break. Rotation in the arm, the, uh, the rotation of the lower arm, the wrist can rotate and go in and out. Legs go in and out, forward and back, upper leg rotation, bend at the knee, lower leg can rotate, just be careful. Foot can rotate and go up and down and you can tilt it as well. So he's got some really good range of motion right here. He's really good articulation. Now we're gonna do some comparisons here really quick. So let me bring out the other figures. So you can see the differences right here now. The two figures on, the, on each end is the um, NECA, not NECA, I'm sorry, the Mattel Batman 66 uh, classic TV series figures. So you can see he is a lot bigger than um, both of the figures right there. And the detail compared to these two right here, I mean, look at the difference. It's like, it's seriously like night and day. But um, here's a little comparison with those right there. Here he is next to the um, Mattel 66 Batmobile as well. And also, no, he's not gonna, guys, if you're wondering if he's gonna fit, no way. He's way too bulky for this thing. So, you know, it, it, it's cool that if you have this though, you can get some really cool shots with the um, with the car. So he's, I mean, he's a little bigger than it, but maybe if you can get some certain angles, I think it'll look great. There you have it, guys. There's my review. Today, we're taking a look at the NECA 7-inch Toys R Us exclusive 1966 Batman Classic TV series, Batman, the Adam West version. A great figure, guys. If you have the 18-inch version you're thinking about passing on this one, don't pass, guys, because this figure is just as good, if not better, than the 18-inch version. So head over to Toys R Us, guys. Go and find these figures, man, because they are so so cool all we need is superman left now drop a comment down below guys and let me know what you think about the figure subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed like the video share the video we'll see you guys later peace